So now let's talk about volume-based modes of ventilation. Currently, I'm in pressure control ventilation. We're going to talk about switching over to volume-based modes. We're going to talk about primary settings. We'll talk about alarms. So right now, if you look on the screen, you'll see that we're in assist control pressure-based. For me to change that, I need to use this little check mark button on the bottom because I have this square lit up. I'll press that, and I'll use the arrows up or down to navigate to which mode I want to go to. Now this is the one I want to actually accept, so I'm going to press the check mark button, and then I need to scroll down to the bottom to accept it. Now I can actually use the up arrow key, and it quickly gets down to that button to accept the mode. So whenever you're changing modes of ventilation, remember there will be uh, a confirmation that you actually indeed want to go into that mode. And once again, with arrow keys, you can either go down or you can go up, and it will cycle over to the bottom there where we had our confirmation. So now let's talk about volume-based modes of ventilation and what parameters you can set in there. So basically, you have tidal volume, so you can determine what kind of tidal volume you want to change. Of course, to do that, you just press the check mark, and then you adjust with the arrows up and down. And when you get to where you want, then you just press the accept key there. The peep, same thing. Hit the check mark to go in to change the peep and adjust to whatever parameter you'd like. Below that, you've got the ramp. And so this basically is looking at what kind of flow pattern. Here's the decelerating flow pattern. You can use a ramp and you can use a sine wave as well. I'll keep it at the decelerating. Next is the rate. How many breaths per minute would you like to deliver? So I'll press the enter button there. And once again, I can adjust the rate with my final step being the accept button here. I'll go down further and I've got an inspiratory time setting. I do not have a peak flow, I have an inspiratory time setting. So once again, I'm gonna press the check mark button and I'll determine what kind of inspiratory time I want to have. <coughs> then I've got my sensitivity setting right below that. This is my eye sense. And for a pediatric patient, you're usually talking zero or one maybe two. For an adult, it could be either two or three. So just to change it, I'll go ahead and increase it up one. Okay. And uh, once again, when a patient is actually triggering, you will see a little dot right to the right of the IE ratio. And then you also have the ability to set size. So if you want to set size, then you have the ability to determine uh, what kind of side tidal volume you want to deliver in terms of uh, multiplication of, it, of the tidal volume as well as the psi rate. If you don't want the size, then I simply hit the enter key. It says yes right now. And if I scroll up or down, shall we say, it says off. And to confirm that setting change, I just press, once again, the check mark here. So I've done all my primary settings for AC volume control. This is, this is basically what, uh, what the current settings are. This is the patient data information right here. This is my uh, display of my pressure bar. Uh, this lets me know I'm doing relative pressure. And then I'm going to go down to preferences. So if I go down to preferences, then once again, this screen is going to be very common. You'll see this many times where you can determine what do you want to adjust, what do you want to set. So you can determine the backlight, if you want to backlit or not, the amount of contrast, the alarm volume. Once again, you simply press the check mark button, and then you can uh, simply adjust that up or down with finally making a confirmation by pushing this button again. Key sounds, accept the tone. Um, apnea alarm, if you want to have an apnea alarm, yes. Disconnect alarm, how many seconds? So if I want to adjust how many seconds, I can do that. I'll press the check mark button here. Waveform display, I've got it at yes. And then pediatric circuit, if this was a pediatric patient, uh, it would know that I'm using a pediatric circuit type and accommodate the tubing volume loss for that. And then once again, you've got ventilator reports, uh, additional function, once again, referred to the manual. So after I'm done with all of that, then I can go back to uh, ventilation. And I've got this screen up in front of me here. Now, if I want to look at other screens beyond the primary settings, I go to my menu button. And I've got my alarms right here that are associated with AC volume control ventilation. So you'll notice there is a uh, peak pressure here. So I do have a low pressure alarm. And once again, this will serve also as your disconnect. So you want to be careful uh, and set that accordingly. 
you have your actual monitored pressure of your patient, and then you have the high uh, pressure alarm. So if I want to change that, I can press the button. I can turn it up, and then I can press the check mark button. Then it goes to the high value, and then I can accept all those settings. Down below that is your uh, exhale total line display. So once again, my actual value is 557. I can press the enter button to enter in there, and once again, change the settings that's appropriate for a particular title line that you may have set. Once done and adjusting that, then I can press the accept button. It goes to the high setting then, and you can adjust that as well. And then you go down to the respiratory rate, breaths per minute, and if you want to have a setting for that, then you can come over, there only is a high here. So I want to, uh, basically, if I put the arrow up, then you begin to see uh, the, the current high respiratory rate alarm. And so I'll just say, okay, and actually timed out on me. So that's what it looks like if it times out. Press it again, go up, and I'll press finally the check mark button here. And then down below, you also have an FIO2 one. So that is basically the alarms, the primary alarms for the mode of AC volume based mode of ventilation. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to a uh, third screen, which is just your waveform screen. So once again, in um, AC, VC, you also have waveform screens like every other mode of ventilation. And you can kind of see what those look like. Once again, patient data information along the side and then waveforms right in the, in the center of it. So that's uh, basically uh, volume control, uh, cis control ventilation. Now, if I go back to the primary setting, SIMV is not gonna be much different to that. So I'm gonna go over. I'm going to change this to uh, SIMV volume-based. To do that, once again, I need to get the box up to where the mode of ventilation is. I'll press the check mark, and I'll scroll up to SIMV, and I'll press the check mark button. I need to come down to accept the mode, so I will do that as well. And now I'm in volume SIMV. Now, uh, I'm going to go back to the primary screen here. And once again, you have the same thing, total volume, but now you have a pressure support. So you determine your pressure support setting. You can adjust that. Do I want any peep? I say yes. When you switch from one mode to another, it does not carry over the settings. So make sure you check every one of these settings as you go over. So we had PEEP before, um, and you lose your PEEP once again as you change your mode uh, ventilation. So don't assume that. Uh, in this mode, because we have fresh support, you do have a rise time. And in terms of the rise time, basically, uh, one is the fastest. So that would rise up the fastest. And you can see the little square there. And as you get toward five, uh, oh, I'm sorry, four, that'll be the slowest. So one's the fastest, four is the slowest. Then you have obviously your respiratory rate. You have your inspiratory time. Once again, that adjusts your, uh, basically based on your total volume. It, as you decrease that down, your flows will go up. So you adjust that. Then your sensitivity. Once again, you'll set that maybe for an adult somewhere between two and three as a starting point. And for more information on the inventory sensitivity uh, values, please look at the manual uh, for a description between what they mean. Once again, one is the most sensitive, I'm sorry, zero is the most sensitive. And as the number goes higher, it will be less sensitive. So that's less sensitive, okay? The OP is the smallest one. It just shows you this for really for a pediatric patient. Same thing with the 1P as well, okay? Then we also have the eSense. So when you go into the eSense, right now it's saying it will actually cycle off very quickly at 75% um, of the exhalation flow. And so if I want to adjust that down to uh, maybe a more common setting of more closer to 25, I can adjust that down. And then for my apnea time, um, I recommend that you always look and see how many seconds it is by entering into that particular option, using the arrow keys up and down and adjusting that to what you really prefer to have. And then once again, when you're finished, press the check mark. When you go into the preferences, once again, you have similar preferences that we just discussed before. 
So make sure you clip through all those and make sure that you adjust those as indicated for your preference. So that really is uh, AC volume control as well as SIMV volume control ventilation. Those are the primary settings, those are the alarms, those are the preferences that you should always look at when you're thinking about settings in a volume-based mode of ventilation.